Carla Bruni and Nicolas Sarkozy. Italian French singer Carla Bruni has decidedly mesmerized former French president, Nicola Sarkozy. They met at a dinner party in 2007. At the time, the president had only recently divorced his ex-wife, so he and Bruni took things slow. The following year, the loved-up pair were married in Paris. Sarkozy was Bruni's first husband, while she was his third wife. After their wedding, she was overrun with state visits, as she suddenly had the responsibility of accompanying the president on such engagements. In 2011, they welcomed their daughter Julia. The attitude toward height difference between this couple is a little different to most of the other lovers we've listed here. It's rumored that the president is actually quite sensitive about it. Whenever they visit other states, Bruni wears flats. It's not much of a secret, now that Sarkozy wears heeled shoes to try to square up with his wife's height. Pharrell Williams and Helen Lesichin Our next couple started out as friends. In fact, Pharrell Williams and Helen Lesichin were lost in friend zone limbo for two years until they realized they were meant to be. Despite this long stretch of passion-free friendship, and the two-inch height difference, Williams and Lesichin were both smitten with each other. She just stood out, Pharrell said, describing the love of his life. And he's not just talking about Helen soaring 5 feet 11 inches height. Pharrell's statement 100% describes how Helen captivated his heart. Finally, after five years of dating, they decided to take their vows. The couple even wore rather unique outfits to their wedding. They colored their life event with plaid. The happy pair are now parents to a son and triplets. Pharrell now has every reason to sing happy. Courtney Mazza and Mario Lopez This couple only has a 4 inch difference in their height. Not much, right? Why would these two good looking people care about such a small height difference? They ain't got no time for that. Mario Lopez is a TV host and actor. He is popularly known as A.C. Slater, from Saved by the Bell. Having been through quite a few marriages in the past, he finally realized that his meant-to-be was right there waiting for him in the same industry. In 2008, Lopez met Broadway star, Courtney Mazza. She is a marvelously talented dancer and actress. They ran into each other during the production of Broadway musical, A Chorus Line. After four years, they got married. Now, they enjoy being a mom and a dad to Gia and Dominic. So it seems Lopez was saved, not so much by the bell as by Broadway. Amy Poehler and Will Arnett Amy Poehler is a deservedly famous comedian, best known for her role in the sitcom, Parks and Recreation, and as a cast member in Saturday Night Live. She's also starred as the voice of Joy in the hilarious animation, Inside Out. It seems only natural for a comedian to fall for a fellow comedian. And this is exactly how things worked out for Polar. The funny ladies match was met in the form of Will Arnett. He was cast in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, took voice roles in Ratatouille, Despicable Me, and, of course, Bohack Horseman. In 2003, this couple tied the knot. Since then, they've worked together on films and animations. They have two sons, Archie and Abel. However, after nine years of love, unfortunately, they informed their friends and family that they were separating. Another one of those love stories with a rather sad ending. Kevin Hart and Enico Parrish If you're into comedy movies, you most probably know Kevin Hart. He starred in Soul Plane, Scary Movies 3, and Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle. He also landed roles in Ride Along, The Secret Life of Pets, and Get Hard. With such a giant reputation, it's not obvious that Hart is just 5 feet 4 inches tall. Hart is actually 3 inches shorter than his stunning wife, Enico Parrish. But he doesn't take any offense to the jokes about it, most of the time. In fact, he even makes light of this height difference himself. Sometimes, though, he takes things seriously. At a recent red carpet event, he even dropped some words that left the audience in awe, 
I don't believe in doing things to manufacture my body to appeal to what I think people might like. Word. Just be who you are, Kevin. Kim Kardashian and Chris Humphreys. Seems like the Kardashians are getting the spotlight in this list. Here's yet another one who's found herself in a relationship with a guy much taller than her. It's no longer new that Kim Kardashian's life has become a public spectacle. Of course, it sprung from the reality TV show Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim has been married to Kanye West since 2014, and has three kids with him. But from 2011 to 2013, Kim was married to basketball player, Chris Humphreys. It was a noticeable relationship, in large part because of their height discrepancy. Humphreys stands at 6 feet 9 inches, more than a foot taller than Kim. Their relationship didn't last and Kim filed for a divorce. Surely, the height difference wasn't to blame. Jenna Elfman and Bodie Elfman Jenna Elfman left a mark in showbiz in the 1990s, starring as the leading lady in various films and sitcoms. When Jenna attends red carpet events with Bodie Elfman, her husband, she usually sports a rockin' set of stilettos with her outfit. When she does, the minuscule height difference between them becomes way more apparent. While they both tower at nearly six feet, Bodie is an inch shorter than his wife. But, when it comes to red carpet events, he doesn't have the benefit of shoe-based elevation. Jenna and Bodie Elfman first met during a Sprite commercial audition in 1991. This beautiful couple hasn't just stood the test of their height difference. They have definitely stood the test of time. Married since 1995, the loved up duo are still going strong to this day. Now, they're happily spending their time working on their craft and, of course, raising their children. Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connelly If you're an avid fan of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, you're pretty familiar with Paul Bettany. He is the voice of J.A.R.V.I.S., and eventually became Vision. He also starred in popular films, like Da Vinci Code, Dogvalley, Inkheart, Legion, Creation, A Beautiful Mind. Bettany was fortunate to have met the love of his life in the same industry. Paul Bettany and Jennifer Connelly first met when they starred in A Beautiful Mind. However, it seems it just wasn't the right time back then. They were both in other relationships while they were filming. Bettany admitted that Connolly was his crush, ever since he saw her in Labyrinth. Soon after, he realized that his crush was actually full-blown love, and he contacted her. In 2003, they got married in Scotland, and are now happy with their children, Stellan and Agnes. Rosie Huntington Whiteley and Jason Statham Rosie Huntington Whiteley rose to notoriety as one of the infamous Victoria's Secret Angels. She is also the face of other famous brands, like Burberry and Marks and Spencer. From modeling, she spread her wings with roles in Transformer, Dark of the Moon and Mad Max, Fury Road. Behind the angelic appearance of the top model, lies a very feisty actress. Feisty and tall the actress and model, at 5 feet 9 inches, towers over her action star partner. Since 2010, Rosie has been in a relationship with action megastar, Jason Statham. The crank actor announced in 2016 that he would be marrying his statuesque sweetheart. Later on, they welcomed Jack Oscar Statham as the newest member of their family. With not a care in the world about their height difference, we wish this sweet little family all the best. Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard In both love and comedy, these guys have vowed to always be there for each other. When it comes to the love side of things, their 5 feet 1 inch versus 6 feet 2 inches height difference definitely makes them stand out. Kristen Bell and Dax Shepard are partners in crime that have been making us smile ever since they kicked off their satirical music video remakes. Then, their Hollywood films and adorable social media videos always have us in stitches. The pair started dating in 2007. Three years later, they announced their engagement. Together, they've appeared in Veronica Mars, When in Rome, Hit and Run, and Chips. 
They seem to be inseparable even on screen. After delaying their marriage, the two finally dove in after Shepard proposed for a second time on Twitter. Of course, Kristen Bell said yes, again. Kate Middleton and Prince William. There has got to be a spot for a royal couple on this list. And today, we're giving that space to Kate Middleton and Prince William. The Duchess of Cambridge is already gifted with height, standing at a stately 5 feet 9 inches. But there's something about the prince's blue blood that's seen him soar to a staggering 6 feet 3 inches. Such towering figures are only fitting for royalty. People will not only look up to them as monarchs, but also because of their height. Kidding aside, Kate Middleton studied art history at the University of St. Andrews. She first met the prince in 2003. Both were students at the time. Eight years later, they became husband and wife at the Westminster Abbey. At present, they are parents to three children who are already in line for inheriting the throne, and perhaps their parents' height too. Vanessa Hudgens and Austin Butler If Ashley Tisdale is on this list, we'd better include Vanessa Hudgens. The high school musical star's relationship with co-star, Zac Efron, seemed to be working out well at first. Of course, everyone was hoping for the Troy Gabriella love team to play out in real life, too. But it didn't last. The actress and singer went on to find love with a fellow musician. And just like Ashley Tisdale, she also ended up with a guy who's more than 10 inches taller than her. Fans are still happy about Hodgins' love life nowadays. Actor and singer Austin Butler captivated her immediately. They started dating in 2011 and are still sailing smoothly to this day. Height differences aside, they may just be the perfect couple. Tracy Pollan and Michael J. Fox We all know Tracy Pollan from Family Ties. She rose to fame primarily because of her portrayal of Ellen Reed, in this iconic family sitcom. This talented girl is two inches taller than her, equally talented husband, actor Michael J. Fox. She met Fox on the set of Family Ties, where she played his girlfriend, but at the time, their romance remained strictly on screen. It seems, though, that fate had more in store for the couple. They met again through Bright Lights, Big City, years after the sitcom that shot them both to stardom. Then, the sparks were undeniable. The two-inch height difference melted from their minds, as a beautiful relationship began to flourish. In 1988, they decided to tie the knot, and now have four children, including a set of twins. Their eldest is Sam Michael, followed by the twins, Aquina Kathleen and Skylar Francis Fox, and the youngest, Esme Annabelle Fox. Candace Cameron Bure and Valerie Bure Candace Cameron Bure is a popular American actress who took on the role of DJ Tanner, in the Full House series. She also starred in Saint Elsewhere, Growing Pains, and Some Kind of Wonderful. She even won third place with Mark Ballas, in Dancing with the Stars, season 18. Clearly, Candace Cameron is a pretty busy woman. In 1996, someone came into her life that probably made it even busier. She met Russian-American National Hockey League right-winger, Valery Bure. Cameron's Full House co-actor, Dave Collier, took on the role of their matchmaking fairy godfather. He introduced them at a charity hockey game, and the rest is history. They've been married since 1996 and, over the years, made three little additions to their little family, two sons and a daughter. Meaning the Beret team is now complete with Natasha, Lef, and Maxim. Ian Summerhalder and Nikki Reed. Let's hear some cheer from the Vampire Diaries crowd. This one's for you, guys. Damon Salvatore and Rosalie Hale made it in real life. Fans were excited when Ian Summerhalder and Nikki Reed announced that they were dating in 2014. Some more good news for the fans and family of the two, came when they confirmed their engagement in 2015. A few months after the engagement, they got married in the wonderful and magical Malibu. Two years later, they had their first child. They started as strangers, 
brought together as co-stars and now they are blissfully happy with their daughter, Bodhi Solil. Finally a vampire story with a happy ending. Natalie Portman and Benjamin Milopied. Natalie Portman is a huge figure in Hollywood. She's known to choose her roles very well. One of the characters she portrayed, that certainly put her on the map, was in the critically acclaimed psychological horror, Black Swan. Aside from being an award-winning actress, Portman is also a Harvard graduate, and she even said once, I'd rather be smart than a movie star. In 2012, Portman married Benjamin Milopied, a French ballet dancer. They met during the filming of Black Swan in 2009, where Milopied was the choreographer. Just a year after, they announced their engagement. The couple then left LA and went to Paris in 2014, when Milopied accepted a job as director of dance, in the Paris Opera Ballet. Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher Celebrity couple, Sasha Baron Cohen and Isla Fisher, also brush off their whole foot height difference. They said that love will always be at the top of their priorities. Height is probably not even on the list. Fortunately, they have a lot of similar interests that stack up to make their relationship work. The best one is their sense of humor. They just find each other too much fun to be with. Of course, it's not just love that completes their perfect union. Baron and Fisher insist there has to be trust, respect, and a bouquet of other contributing factors. Religion being one of them. Cohen is a devout Jew and, since Fisher wanted to spend the rest of her life with him, she decided to convert to Judaism. She even released a statement about her decision before their wedding, religion comes second to love as far as we are concerned, Isla Fisher said. She was ready to give it her all for their future together. Ilaria Baldwin and Alec Baldwin Alec Baldwin is an American comedian, host, actor, and writer who comes from a renowned family of actors. You might be familiar with him from 30 Rock, the Mission Impossible series or perhaps from his remarkable portrayal of Donald Trump, on Saturday Night Live. In 2011, Baldwin dated Ilaria Thomas, an actress and yoga instructor from Manhattan. In the early days of dating, they lived in Greenwich Village and, after a year of loved-up happiness, they got engaged. Two months later, they were on their way down the aisle in New York City. They're now happily married with a daughter and three sons, Carmen, Raphael, Leonardo Angel Charles, and Romeo Alejandro David. Joel Madden and Nicole Richie Joel Madden is the lead vocalist of Good Charlotte, and also tags the roles of actor, producer, and DJ to his list of credentials. Nicole Richie, on the other hand, is more renowned as a socialite who has since made a name for herself in the fashion industry. She is also known simply for being best friends with Paris Hilton. They even had a Fox reality TV show, called The Simple Life. Madden and Richie began dating in 2006. With Richie standing at an adorably petite five-foot flat, the seven-inch height difference was instantly obvious. The loved-up couple didn't mind, however. On the contrary, they confirmed they were getting married in 2010. This came after daughters, Harlow and Sparrow, came to their lives. In 2008, the baby photos of Harlow were sold to People magazine. Can you guess how much for? One million dollars. She was, of course, a precious little baby, but that's one insanely lucrative baby shower. Mariah Carey and James Packer Dubbed the Songbird Supreme, Mariah Carey is well known for her five-octave vocal range. Who can forget her prominent whistle every time she offers a song for us? The fact that she stands 5 feet 8 inches tall makes her even more intimidating. But when she stands next to ex-fiancé, James Packer, who's an astonishing 6 feet 6 inches, our songbird doesn't look so large. In 2016, Carey was engaged to Australian investor, James Packer. It was such a brief romance that the very same year, they called the whole thing off. Not a very happy ending, since they didn't even reach the wedding day. At least they knew, before things got messy, 
that it wasn't going to last. Tiffany Thiessen and Brady Smith Since we already have Mario Lopez from Saved by the Bell, let's add another one from the cast. Tiffany Thiessen also starred in the sitcom, playing Kelly Kapowski. She's also that pretty Valerie Malone, from Beverly Hills. Later in life, she met an actor from Houston, Texas, who became her other half. Brady Smith graduated from Stephen Austin State University, in 1994. In 2005, he married Tiffany and has been enjoying blissfully married life ever since. Their lives changed in a great way when they were blessed with their two children a daughter named Harper, who was born in 2010, followed by their son, Holt, in 2015. Daniel Radcliffe and Aaron Dark Harry Potter is a grown-up now. Although at 5 feet 5 inches, it doesn't look that obvious. Two years after the release of the last movie in the franchise, Wizarding Star, Daniel Radcliffe, went on to explore some mighty different showbiz ventures. He starred in various movies, including the critically acclaimed Swiss Army Man. In one of his recent projects, Kill Your Darlings, he plays the famous beat poet, Allen Ginsberg. It was on the set of this film that he also happened to meet the love of his life. Aaron Dark is a fellow actor, starring regularly in both film and theater. She is also known as Cindy, in Good Girls Revolt. After meeting on set, Dark and Radcliffe started a relationship that would go on for six years and counting. Although Dark is two inches taller than Radcliffe, they seem to be going strong. No spells or love potions needed for this one. Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson You would be lying if you said you'd never heard of this tumultuous Twilight duo. The on-screen mortal vampire couple made it real in 2009. It's undeniable that fans of Twilight surged in number when they found out. Stewart and Pattinson kept it hidden pretty well for a long time, and denied it even in the face of a plethora of photos showing their obvious affection for each other. Pattinson towered over Stewart by more than six inches. That certainly drew more attention whenever they tried to discreetly go out at the time. Finally, in 2012, Pattinson disclosed it to the public, he was in a relationship with Stewart. But that was also just moments from the end. Pattinson's heart was painfully and publicly broken after U.S. Weekly released photos of Stewart with, married, director, Rupert Sanders. Sad but, unfortunately, true. Hayden Panettiere and Oladimir Klitschko Professional boxer, Oladimir Klitschko, 6 feet 6 inches, married Hayden Panettiere 5 feet 0 inch, the American actress who starred as Claire Bennett in Heroes. Klitschko's real-life cheerleader might be 18 inches shorter than him, but who cares? Aside from the huge height difference, they also have a 13-year age gap. Despite the age and height issues, Klitschko and Panettiere are happily married. In 2014, they welcomed a new member to the family. Hayden gave birth to their lovely first daughter named Kaya. They don't seem to mind that Kaya might possibly inherit her dad's height. Unfortunately though, after nine long years, the couple decided to call it quits. Oh well, at least they'll always have Kaya. Danny Iaminog and Chris Smith Danny Iaminog is an Australian singer, model, and actress responsible for the songs, Love and Kisses, Jump to the Beat, and Baby Love, to name a few. While she stood only a couple of inches, about five foot tall, her singing career was definitely shooting up to far greater heights. Since stepping away from the microphone, she's taken on judging and mentoring roles, with X Factor UK and Australia's Got Talent. In 2008, the famous singer dated English model and rugby player, Chris Smith. They met during Smith's 30th birthday and, two years of romance later, Minogue's pregnancy was announced to the public. Their son, Ethan Edward Minogue Smith, was delivered via cesarean section. Despite having a baby and doing great in their careers, they still decided to go their separate ways but surely their 11-inch height difference couldn't have contributed to the split. Bella Hadid and The Weeknd 
Bella Hadid and The Weeknd are two of the biggest names in showbiz. Despite their tumultuous, on and off again relationship, they recently decided to give it another go and are said to be better than ever. While their height difference is only an inch, Bella is the taller one, meaning her penchant for high heels leaves The Weeknd regularly craning his neck to look up at her. Neither of them seem to mind this though, and Bella isn't giving up her shoes anytime soon. The weekend is so supportive of his model girlfriend, he always gets to his feet whenever Bella walks down the Victoria's Secret fashion show runway. He even sits with Bella's mom when she's in attendance. When it's the weekend's turn to take to the stage, Bella Hadid is equally supportive. She joins the concert crowd to sing along to the weekend's songs. Shaquille O'Neal and Leticia Roll Shaquille O'Neal is a world-renowned, American professional basketball player who stands at 7 feet 1 inch. After 19 years on the court he became a sports analyst on Inside the NBA. Outside his basketball career, he's also arguably successful as a media personality. Everything seems to work for the big guy, including love. Shaq has been with his longtime girlfriend, Leticia Roll, since 2014. At 5 feet 6 inches, the former NBA star dwarfs Leticia. But these two don't seem bothered by the space that stretches between them. Instead of picking on their differences, these two focused more on their similar interests. In high school and college, Leticia was also a basketball superstar. We bet their one-on-one -on -one driveway games were fierce. Sadly, the two split and Shaquille is now happily married to Shawnee O'Neal. Rod Stewart and Penny Lancaster British rock singer and songwriter, Rod Stewart, had been married twice before he met photographer and model, Penny Lancaster. It seems like this rock star has a type. His previous wives, Alana Stewart and Rachel Hunter, were both taller than him. Penny is no different, standing a good few inches taller than Stewart. The couple met when Rod Stewart offered Penny Lancaster the role of photographer on one of his tours, in 1999. Eventually, they fell in love and celebrated the birth of their first child, in November 2005. In 2007, they made a joint decision to lead their relationship to the altar. Four years later, they celebrated the birth of their second child. Stewart and Lancaster stayed true to their vows and have fallen even more in love since. Lady Gaga and Taylor Kinney Of course, we know Lady Gaga for all her quirks, her unique music videos, and yeah, her height. Gaga stands at a miniature 5 feet 1 inch. Even when decked out in the fiercest of heels, her diminutive stature is glaringly obvious. So much more so, when she stood alongside her American actor and model boyfriend, Taylor Jacks Kinney. You may know Kinney from his portrayal of Mason Lockwood, in The Vampire Diaries. He met Gaga in 2011, during the filming of the music video for You and I. With sparks flying between them, they decided to give romance a try and began dating. In 2015, they announced they were getting married. But by July 2016, they decided it was a bad romance. They enigmatically cited, personal reasons as the cause of their split. And that was the end of that. Talk about poker faces. Adam Levine and Bihati Prince Lu. Technically, Adam Levine is taller than his wife, Bihati Prince Lu, by an inch. However, the photos seem to show otherwise. When Bihati puts on her killer heels, Adam just loses the game. We all know Adam Levine as the frontman of Maroon 5. He has been an active singer since 1994. The South African Victoria's Secret model, Bihati Prince Lu, meanwhile, has spent her career killing it in the fashion and modeling industry. The beautiful couple first met during the 2011 Victoria's Secret fashion show. They started dating in 2012, but it was short-lived. In 2013, however, they suddenly announced their engagement. For their honeymoon, they traveled to South Africa, Prince Lo's home country. Now, the two are happily married with two kids, Joe Grace and Dusty Rose. 
Levi Meaton and Ariel Winter. Ariel Winter became famous when she took on the role of Alex Dunphy, in Modern Family. She's also the voice actress of Sophia, in Disney's Sophia the First. Behind the camera, Ariel Winter is more than happy in her relationship with Canadian actor, Levi Meaton. We've seen Levi Meaton in War for the Planet of the Apes, Alice in the Attic, Pacific Rim, Uprising, and a lot more. They're one of those couples that just looks cute together. Aside from the fact that Meaton is 5 feet 11 inches tall, while Winter is just 5 feet 1 inch, they share a chemistry so strong, fans can feel the love that flows between the two. Anna Ferris and Chris Pratt Chris Pratt is best known for his role as Andy Dwyer in Parks and Recreation, and as the Star-Lord in Guardians of the Galaxy. Before he rose to fame, he met Anna Ferris at the table reading for the film, Take Me Home, in 2007. She was cast as Pratt's character's love interest. The role, as it so often does, incarnated in real life. By 2008, they were engaged, and then were married the year after. They then decided to settle in LA, California. The next few years became a challenge for the couple. Ferris gave birth to their son, Jack, in 2012. However, he was born premature and had to be kept under thorough observation for a month. Pratt said that it tested his faith, but he and his wife continued to pray for their baby. They got through that challenge. Still, in 2017, the couple split. The divorce was finalized earlier in 2018. They have since gone on with their individual lives. Seth Green and Claire Grant Nothing beats a relationship where the two of you understand each other's humor. Even height can't come between that kind of chemistry. Seth Green and Claire Grant felt the sparks because their senses of humor complemented each other. They first met in 2006, running into each other at the reopening of Golden Apple Comics. Since they were both comic buffs, they met again at the annual Comic Con convention in San Diego. While they may not see eye to eye physically, Seth is 5 feet 4 inches and Claire stands at 5 feet 7 inches, the pair are perfectly on PAR when it comes to their interests. They both love comic books, TV, and something we also adore, fast food. With so many shared loves, the pair didn't just team up for the Emmy award-winning animated TV show Robot Chicken, they also teamed up for life. Grant and Green became engaged in 2009 and got married in 2010. Hayden Christensen and Rachel Bilson While we've given you a healthy dose of high-challenged couples who remained blissfully happy together, this list is, admittedly, full of couples who didn't make it to the end of the line. But we're cool with that. It's better to leave than stay in a partnership that just ain't working out. And this was exactly the case for our next couple. You surely know Hayden Christensen from his portrayal of Anakin Skywalker, in the Star Wars series. Rachel Bilson, meanwhile, shot to fame in the OC, then later shifted her attention to the big screen, starring in Jumper and The Last Kiss. Christensen stacks up at six foot neat, while Bilson is just two inches over five feet. While it made photos a little awkward, this height difference didn't matter a bit for the two, they lived together in love for quite a long time. Their relationship first blossomed in Jumper, where they were unable to resist each other's charms. In 2009, Bilson appeared in public with an engagement ring. That was when it all came out. But, by 2010, it was called off without any explanations whatsoever. The on-again off-again pair now have a daughter, Briar Rose, who was born in 2014. However, three years after her birth, they called it quits once again. Fergie and Josh Duhamel. Who doesn't know Fergie? She's such an iconic singer we don't even need a last name to differentiate her. We have seen her grow as a singer with the Black Eyed Peas, move into a bunch of creative collabs, and then finally branch out on her own as a solo artist. Behind this successful career, lies a happy life with her chosen family. American actor, Josh Duhamel, 
is known for his appearances in Transformer films, Life as We Know It, Safe Haven, and most recently in Love, Simon. Duhamel met Fergie on the set of his show, Las Vegas, in 2004. Fergie appeared with the Black Eyed Peas on the show, and the chemistry was immediate. The two eventually went out and, after years of dating, got married in 2009. They've since been gifted with a son, Axel Duhamel. And they have separated in 2018. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. Sarah Michelle Gellar and Freddie Prince Jr. first met on the set of I Know What You Did Last Summer, back in 1997. They became immensely popular 90s icons, both individually and as a much-loved couple. Prince stands almost a full foot taller than Geller, but that hasn't been an obstacle for the famous pair. In 2002, they got married and became parents to two children. People love this couple for having stayed strong, in the crazy world of Hollywood, for more than 15 years now. And even when they decided to lie low and leave the limelight behind, people still remember them. Who could ever forget the Vampire Slayer? Not to mention their iconic 90s rom-coms that went straight to every teenager's heart. This is one couple that will always stay in the heart of their 90s film-loving fans. Megan Fox and Machine Gun Kelly There may be a huge age and height difference between these two, but it seems, for the lovebirds, that doesn't change a thing. MGK and Megan Fox began dating in June 2020. More than a year after their first public outing, Fox and Kelly appear to be going strong. One of the biggest things that people notice about Machine Gun Kelly and Megan Fox as a couple is the fact that they have such a huge height difference between them. In fact, he stands at 6 feet 4 inches while she stands at 5 feet 4 inches. He is literally an entire foot taller than her. Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony As a basketball player, Carmelo Anthony towers over most people, at 6 feet 8 inches. This doesn't look unusual on the court, amongst his fellow basketball playing giants. But when you put someone who's only 5 feet 6 inches beside Anthony, you immediately understand just how big the guy is. This is everyday life for American TV personality, Lala Anthony, because she just so happens to be Carmelo's wife. When they're together, the basketball superstar can't look like anything other than a giant. This doesn't seem to bother the pair, though. They're both busy working on their high-profile careers. Despite the busy schedules, they make sure that their priorities are well set with both, insisting that their son always comes first. We are the best of friends and our number one commitment is to our 10-year-old son, Kian, Lala said. How sweet. Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith There's actually a lot going on behind the movie scenes for celebrities. Off cam, some love teams make it real. Let's take the Smith couple for example. Will Smith first met Jada when she auditioned for a role in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. She wanted to take the role of Will Smith's character's wife, Lisa Wilkes. Unfortunately, Jada didn't make the cut. Did you know why Jada wasn't accepted for the role? They said that she was too short and so wouldn't make a believable fit for Smith. She had to stand next to a 6 feet 2 inches guy which would make framing a nightmare for the camera operators. Ironically, this couple, that were told they made no sense in TV land, ended up becoming husband and wife in real life. Jada took on an irreplaceable role in Will's life and they've been defying the declaration of the television executives ever since. Reese Witherspoon and Jake Gyllenhaal It's Reese again. The actress also dated actor Jake Gyllenhaal, after they met in 2007, on the set of the film rendition. Actors seem to spend a lot of time falling in love with each other on movie sets. These two were not exceptions. Gyllenhaal is a full 10 inches taller than Witherspoon. Reese just makes it over the 5 foot mark, at 5 feet 1 inch, while Jake towers at 5 feet 11 inches. The difference was adorably obvious when photos of them dating were released in the media. But when you're overflowing with love for each other, who has time to bother with metrics?
Ashley Tisdale and Christopher French. The high school musical fans out there will surely remember Sharpay Evans. She's so over Troy and Gabriella. Like, seriously. She's happy with her new partner in life, Christopher French. Our Sharpay Evans looks so cute next to French, even though he's more than a foot taller than her. After graduating from high school musical, Ashley Tisdale didn't stop making music. In fact, she works it out with her boyfriend. Christopher French is the lead singer for Annie Automatic, and law-based alt-rock band. The two started dating in 2012, and their love seems to still be going strong. Their mutual musical inclinations surely share some of the credit. Ashley Tisdale has already released two studio albums. For her third, she is working with French. Something for Sharpay Evans fans to watch out for. Sam Cooper and Lily Allen. Smile. It's time to take a look at the lovely little Lily Allen. At 5 feet 2 inches, the singer certainly looks small when she poses near her hubby, Sam Cooper, who stands 10 inches taller at 6 feet. Lily started dating Sam in July, 2009. The following year, they announced that they were welcoming an addition to their family. Unfortunately, Alan's pregnancy had some complications. On her sixth month of carrying the baby, she contracted a viral infection. Sadly, their little one never got a chance to see the world. Lily was, understandably, diagnosed with PTSD as a result of the incident. But, with time, the brave couple were able to move on. In fact, in 2010, they got engaged, and were then married in 2011. They now have two daughters, Ethel and Marnie. However, the two recently decided to end their marriage due to Sam's reported infidelity. Chris Hemsworth and Elsa Pataki Measuring in at 6 feet 3 inches, Chris Hemsworth was made for the role of Thor, the god of thunder. He's got the acting chops, the charisma, and the height required to play an ancient deity. In real life, Hemsworth found an equally astonishing goddess, with all the requisite features, apart from the towering height. Spanish actress and model, Elsa Pataki, stands at 5 feet 3 inches. That's a whole foot shorter than Hemsworth, but it's no big deal to this heavenly duo. It seems like not a force on earth could come between the two. They even tied the knot soon after they first met, in 2010. That was a great move for the couple. Now, after a few years of marriage, they have one daughter and two sons. Jay Cutler and Kristen Cavallari The gift of height is not just for basketball players. Football players are also huge. Retired football quarterback, Jay Cutler, played for more than 10 seasons in the NFL. He stands out in the field at 6 feet 3 inches. That's a foot taller than his wife Kristen Cavallari, an American TV personality and actress. Cutler and Cavallari began dating in 2010. A year later, they announced their engagement. There were some issues during the engagement but they still pushed through. In 2013, they finally got married. At present, they are very happy to have two sons and a daughter in their lives. Zendaya and Tom Holland This couple isn't official yet, but as fans, we'd like to believe that they are together. The pair came to life during the Spider-Man, Homecoming film. Zendaya and Tom Holland play classmates in the Marvel film. Holland as Peter Parker and the Spider-Man, and Zendaya as Michelle. Their love story has yet to bloom, but there was definitely a spark. When they attended the red carpet premiere of the film together, the height difference between them became more apparent. Zendaya actually stands two inches taller than Holland. These two seem very fond of each other. The biggest scoop about them was when Tom Holland was seen leaving Zendaya's house, with a suitcase. What could that mean? Fans went crazy with speculation after the photos were released online. But until now, Zendaya and Holland haven't disclosed what the real story between them is. Salma Hayek and Edward Norton Edward Norton is known for being quite picky about the roles he takes on, 
though he seems to have a bizarre penchant for characters with more than one personality. He has been nominated for multiple awards, thanks to his stellar performances. After a few years in showbiz, he crossed paths with another performer, who would come to play an important role in his life. Mexican film actress and model, Salma Hayek, got her start in telenovelas and other films. She too has received a wealth of nominations thanks to her captivating performances. While she has starred alongside many handsome leading men, six feet tall Norton made a lasting impression on her. The pair dated for a few years, but perhaps the constant neck strain of looking up at her bow took a toll on Hayek, as the pair split before things got too serious. Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth since Chris Hemsworth is on this list, it would feel wrong if we didn't include his 6 feet 3 inches brother, Liam Hemsworth. While he was dating Miley Cyrus, their height difference was already pretty obvious. The media released plenty of photos of them dating in real life at the time. However, like many of their Hollywood cohorts, the couple fell into the on and off again dating trap. Their longest breakup was huge news in showbiz. Miley cut her hair and released the Wrecking Ball album. Fans were deeply saddened by the split. Not too long after the breakup, the two suddenly announced a stunning turnaround, Miley and Liam aren't just loved up again, they got married. Lisa Bonet and Jason Momoa The Game of Thrones fan kingdom was collectively devastated when Goldrogo passed away. Daenerys lost her son and stars, and the moon of her life. But outside of the GOT universe, the actor behind Kul Drogo, Jason Momoa, is living the good life. He has been with his real-life son, Stars, and Moon, Lisa Bonet, since 2007. Bonet is 5 feet 2 inches and 12 years older than the 38-year-old Momoa, but he stands taller than her at 6 feet 4 inches. Nevertheless, the couple doesn't really concern themselves with their height and age differences. Momoa even took on the role of stepfather to Bonet's daughter, Zoe. Bonet had Zoe with her previous husband, rock star Lenny Kravitz. Today, Momoa and Bonet have two children of their own. And they couldn't be happier. Courtney Kardashian and Scott Disick Last one for the Kardashians, we promise. We apparently need to keep up with them, so it's important to check out the latest updates, no. It seems Chloe isn't the only one who's fond of tall boys. Her sister, Courtney is, too. From a young age, Courtney was killing it as a successful businesswoman and model. And it was in this industry that she met Scott Disick. He also dabbles in the world of business and works as a model for supplements and books. He's also really tall, like really. Taller than Courtney by 11 inches. In 2006, Kardashian and Disick met at a house party in Mexico. They were, like so many celebrities before them, into the whole on and off kind of relationship. But all of that changed in 2009, when Courtney gave birth to Mason Dash Disick, their first child. The delivery was even aired in Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Disick tried to propose multiple times, but always got shot down before he could follow through. In 2012, they had their second child, Penelope Scotland Disick. And then, Rain Aston Disick followed as the third child, in 2014. It felt like everything was going to be alright between the pair. And, let's face it, Scott's roasting of the Kardashian clan was the most entertaining part of their show. However, in 2015, the couple sadly declared that it was the end. Cameron Diaz and Benji Madden Who doesn't know Cameron Diaz? She's a big-time star in Hollywood and stands at 5 feet 9 inches. She has made a name for herself in movies like, Charlie's Angels, Shrek, and There's Something About Mary. Now that the towering, blonde beauty is fresh in your mind, it's time for you to meet this musician who, according to Cameron, makes her life feel complete. Nicole Richie played matchmaker for Cameron and good Charlotte frontman, Benji Madden. Cameron said yes to Madden's marriage proposal in 2015, despite the obvious height difference. 
Cameron stands taller than Madden by two inches. After a whopping 17-day engagement, the happy couple was married. Three years later, Cameron decided to retire from acting.